So as you may have all noticed, the Surbine is the main advertising point of this. As some people may have remembered, I got the Surbine's SSR and the support SSR for it. But, oh well. I'll probably add it into my team. Since I love the design of the Surbine. I love the concept that unlike with Dunbine and Buildbine where beam weaponry is an optional thing for it. It's similar to the Nanajin from well, Wings of Rain where all it has is its sword. It's only for close combat. In Super Raw Wars 4, it was like a prototype that if you got the Surbine, you couldn't use the Dunbine anymore, if I remember correctly. Then remember, in Operation Extend, I think it was like part 5 of the game, Gurren Lagan digs it out. And you get it. Huh. We're still continuing. Might as well get through all this as soon as possible. Whoa. There we go. Oh boy, that's Guard's Orm. Just out of respect to the whole Keo thing, I'm not going to be using him for a bit. As much as I love his Hollow Bolt Gravity, right now we're in Zeke Pain's story stuff. So I'm going to give Shion a test drive. Let's go through with it. Ooh, Zeta and Billbine. Okay. Hold up, everybody. Yeah, I am so messed up right now. Hold up. I do like the fact that it's in Wave Rider mode. But hold up. Alright, now I've got some more dialogue to explain more what's happening. But the bridge. I see. So I'm missing memories too. Yes. With each entanglement, the data disappears little by little. The body can be repaired, but the memories can't ever come back. You catch on quick. Looks like you got a good head on your shoulders. It's mostly because of what you said before. You said that I went through it before, right? We exist only as data. And there are things I'm forgetting. But even so. Even so. I'm still alive. Oh. That's a positive outlook. Especially compared to your past self. Is that right? You're better this way. But. It must have been hard to accept it all right away, huh? But Chris. Everything begins with acceptance, doesn't it? Even love. That's right, Ark. What, are we on the Sign River in France now? I'm just gonna go somewhere else. Okay, so apparently in this scene, I'm not gonna do anything like it because you're supposed to have played World 4 last. If you did not play World 4, Dido and Michael do not appear, nor does the flashback scene happen. Okay, where does he has anger? Interesting. Zegapain has failed. It's more heavily armed than the Altair. It went out when it comes to QL as well. So it's a lot of loaders designed for base stacks, huh? The pilots are skilled. Oh. What's up? Let's see what this is. Dang, this thing has messed me up. Anyways. Yeah, hold up, everybody. Alright, sorry. Ah, bleh, bleh. Sorry about that, everybody. Dude, a lot of stops lately. I stopped. I stop with that. It's basically the life support system for us metabodies. Hmm. You heard about it, right? How we have metabodies because we've already died? Yes. Still kind of a shock. I thought I had accepted that I was metabody, but every time my data transfers, I lose a bit of my memories. And if my data gets too badly damaged, I'll die. But those things can still happen to an ordinary human. A psychological shock can cause memory loss, and a severe enough injury can cause death. To put it simply, you're not really much different from a human when you get down to it. That's true. 
Now that I think about it, you're totally right. You don't feel out of place when we're just talking like this either. I guess somewhere along the line, I was looking for a cut and dry answer. I ended up thinking I was immortal or something. Now I can't believe I ever had, I ever had that in my head. It's typical mechanism to, to subconscious. It's a typical mechanism to subconsciously protect your mind. It's also normal for a human, huh? Yes. Thanks. That really did take a load off my chest. I'm glad to hear that. I heard she's you know recovered just fine. So as long as Altair, so as long as the Altair gets repaired, I can fight alongside you guys. So I'll lock with you guys same as always. You don't want to decide that too early. I think returning to Mayhama at least once would be good for you. You got a point. We already here and all, so I think I'll do just that. Hmm. Damn, this part's all jumbled up. They lose the memories just by fighting? That's right. I didn't realize people of the Ocean on the Ocheanus put themselves at risk just by going to battle. I was surprised to hear it too. They mu they wanted to find a way to prevent the memory loss, but it doesn't seem likely that it's possible. Damn. Commander Shima says they can manage the, data, the damage from a transfer, so we shouldn't have to worry about that at least. You can still make new memories even if you can't remember your past, but when your memories are progressively disappearing, that's, de that's terrible. Some memories are better off forgotten. Hmm? Is there something you want to say, Kido? There is. The presence or absence of a memory, and whether or not the contents of it are good and bad, is for the person who holds it to decide. Yes, I believe you're right. Akito must have something very painful inside that he'd like to forget. Yeah, his wife got kidnapped. So, and he lost his taste buds. We're at the, we're at the Mayama High School's pool. You're weird, Kyo. I am? Where's that coming from? The first thing you do is, after studying abroad is beeline straight for the pool. You didn't even bring back any souvenirs. Relax, there's nothing weird about it. I just wanted to go swimming. Not just that. You said something strange on a test earlier on, earlier too. Something like it being impossible to solve a question from middle school. The, that's just my way of protesting. Come on, how could I not solve something like that? Protesting? I mean, if they're just going to give us free questions like that, then I shouldn't even have to take the test. I've already got credits from studying abroad anyways. If it wasn't for that question, I'd have gotten a perfect score. All the people around me didn't have any problem with it, but I couldn't even figure out what it was to start with. So this is what it means to really forget something. What do you want about? Well, if that's the case, then I have something to protest you about. Kawaguchi wouldn't stop bothering me all because you were gone. Ugh. Hey, come on. What are you doing staring out of the pool and sighing for? You just came back from sliding abroad. You could at least have called us or something. Ushio, hi, I say. Kaguchi was pretty worried when he found out you were gone, you know? That guy was going on and on about bringing him back to the swim club. What's he doing running off overseas? Stuff like that. Yeah, I heard he was giving Kaminagi a hard time too. So, when are you coming back? What are you talking about? I'm already here. I figured you were just coming back to visit. You aren't going to leave again? Well, yeah I am. How'd you know? I just do. You've always been an honest guy, and you had the face like you were dealing with something on your own. You had to deal with what happened back in middle school on your own, too. That was all on me. I was the one who hit the ref in the prelims. If it wasn't for that, your scores wouldn't have... You just want to swim again, right? Why didn't you say that? I know you went study abroad for some reason, and you don't want to tell anyone why. But you haven't given up on bringing back the swimming club, right? Hi, I say. I know that too. By the way, Kaguchi probably does too. Isn't that right? Come on, stop sticking around, man. Hmm. Kaguchi, what are you doing here? Sh shut up. I still haven't forgiven this guy for what he did. And he runs off. Sheesh, still going to take him a little while. It's fine. I'll have a talk with him later. Yeah, be sure and do that. Now, I think it's about time for a swim. Heck yeah. You guys want to do a relay race? Why not? We're short one man, but practice is practice. Fine by me. There was a time when Ushio didn't show up in middle school and we all had to practice without him. I overslept. Sue me. 
It's not like it was the day of the tournament. Let's just forget about it already. Did that ever happen? Hey, see? Even Keo forgot about it by now. Come on. You guys can take this more seriously. I've forgotten a lot, huh? What's the holdup, Keo? You sure your heart's in this? Uh, of course it is. My heart's right here. Here in my hama. Literally. Now we're properly in our areas. Episode 64, Wet Damage. This is a pretty unusual pairing. Ironically, remember, these guys have been in the same Super Hot Wars for years. Man, it is the first time these two specifically are here. Yeah, first time, isn't it? It might be. That's kind of a vague response. Well, you're being just as vague. I guess. Anyways, the sea is really beautiful here. I guess it's because there aren't any people around. It's not as if all oceans are polluted because of humans. Well, all the oceans in my world are blood red. Yeah, I guess they are. Still, there are people here. I can't imagine how it feels for them to keep fighting in this no man's land of a world. Hmm. Hey there, you two. Sorry if I'm intruding. We'd like to join the patrol as well. You're Mr. Chris and Miss Ark, right? You can drop the formalities. We'll be fighting together for a while, so don't worry about stuff like that. Roger. It shows some of yes. We've asked you to meet and talk to you. You come from some kind of fairy tale like place called Bison Well, don't you? The kingdoms in Bison Well are still battling each other even as we speak. It's not as whimsical as a fantasy world. Uh oh. They didn't, they didn't mean to upset Sir or a battler over here. You don't have the right to call me that. Hey, I didn't mean it in a bad way. Chris, most well ready enemy readings at 12 o'clock. They're coming this way. Good grief. Let's talk about bad timing. Let's talk again later, okay? I've confirmed a Viagen behind the enemy lines. One of their large ships, then. We sh probably shouldn't go after it until the Rock Island and the OCS arrive. Waiting around isn't really my style. I'm more the relentless attacking type. Mm-hmm. That's so like you, dear. Let's try and get this over with so we can open your favorite Krug. Grandy Kuvi? Vintage, of course. We're gonna go say hello to the Vajem. You guys take care of things here. Wait, it's not safe to rush off on your own. Ah, they're gone. That man is. There's other way now. We have to defeat the enemies in front of us. Oh, you can't use uh, you can't use wave bird. Mo oh, I, I I forgot all about the fact that I had um auto play on. Ouch! Bro, these guards were hit like a truck. Dang it! Damn, they're really thinking. There you go, that's it. They are one of them for one turn. At least the build buying is very evasive. What were the gold things for this one? Okay, I gotta use one spirit command.
Yeah, they're dead. Looks like that's all of them now. For now. Alright, let's go after Chris and Ark. Ah. Uh. Alright, we'll continue on. So we gotta use Wohisatsu. We gotta use a lot of stuff. So he actually is fighting on his own. Come on! Restfield got ahead of us. He's over there, being hard to miss. Literally, it's the party there. This guy's the last one. Sorry, looks like it's over. He took down an enemy that big on his own. It's a mercenary's job to get results. That's not all there is to it. Hmm? You fight like a man with nothing to lose. How can you keep fighting like that in a world like this? It's because it's a world like this. I just want to keep fighting until the very end. Until the end. There's a new way of old for wars approaching. There's so many. We'll be fine, show. The Rock High Lamb and the Oceanus are here. All units, launch immediately. Hold on, the big one's ours. Let's... Yeah, let's go Ark. Right. Ah, they're going off on their own again. Even if he has the skills to back his talk, that's still too dangerous. Show, we have to intercept the enemy. Yeah, I know. I don't feel like using these two real quick. So let's try out Shion. Eh, yeah, decent. So let's slowly get it straight back up there. But yeah, I had gotten its SR, sorry, its SSR earlier on. Um, it was one of the one of the random gacha episodes I did. So I decided with um, with this game, I'll be doing well, because of the big gacha sprees. I'll be doing them as episodes to show off my time with the game. I wonder if Hito's gonna get a map attack that's gonna be like, you know, the straight 3x9 range thing, like how Zega Pain has for its hollow gravity. Because it's got the swim rolling bust arrival. It'll probably be its SSR4, if anything. That's the only one they haven't done. Because we got all basic uses of his swim bust arrival. Even the rolling one as a, you know, as a map attack and as an actual attack.
And there we go, that's my nine chain. Next up I gotta use four attacks. Actually. Wait, really? Is SSR's weak? Oh yeah, because I don't have much of it. Wow. That's sad. Ah, oh, well, I'll show off with that or. Let's show off that hyper aura slash. I wonder, does Servine have an SSR to the time of this recording? Probably not. Beautiful. And then he does twin buster rifle should be able to There we go. What are the enemies do outside of the battlefield doing? The four five gems would be on to retreat. Horizon is currently in pursuit. Oceanus, can you read me? This is Shosama. I'll go back go I'll go back up Horizon. Understood. Won't he be found on his own? No, I got a bad feeling about this. Ironically, I think the build bind would be the best thing because build bind's all about the speed. Never forget the build bind can transform into its plane or bug mode and you know fly, or not fly, move faster. Which then later on, Tamino would utilize for Zeta Gundam and other stuff. Trying to make me run my QL dry, huh? Unfortunately for you, I don't waste shots. Time to end this. Arc. Ready the hollow Holonic Blade. Hmm? Arc. The ocean is be so beautiful, Chris. Ah! Ah! Arc? I'm sorry, I'm fine. The right wing won't reconstruct in time. And the rifle, no good. I take it, I can't take it down in one shot. Guess this is it then. I knew it. What do we do? We just have to rush in. Ah, show Sama. Blade, right hand. And then, yeah, blade, right hand. It's over. It all worked out somehow. Thanks a lot. We were in real we were in real trouble there. But earlier, thank you, Show. I think you could even beat the demon soldiers. Huh? R right. It really is a beautiful sea, though. It's a lot like Volandin. Or Volandin. Do you think they were as entranced as Camille was? In the middle of a fight? Don't be ridiculous. All right, let's continue on with this to finish this part. We're back at the Oceanus' bridge. So what is Kyo's status? We have verified his condition is now equal to the levels of his previous versions, before the restoration. Previous version, huh? In other words, there are no issues? Physically, he is an excellent gunner. Spending time in the Maihama service seems to have stabilized him mentally. Equal, but not identical. I would say we are now well prepared for the Oscar Annihilation operation. However, we did receive a disturbing report. It concerns Horace Vell's gunner. 
You mean Chris? Yes. It was reported that he was behaving strangely. I find that to be a very ambiguous report. It's been brought to my attention that Bridesmaid Violet's hosts be officially assigned to the Oceanus. I'd like to hear more details about them. Understood. Chris and Ark are married. They are mercenaries dispatched here from another Celebram battleship. You could say their position is that of freelancers. They asked to be assigned to the Oceanus so they could defeat more guards Orm, as the Oceanus has proven more likely to be on the front lines. They specifically want to fight? All these celebrants harbor some manner of grudge towards the guards arm, be it large or small. I see. And do you know of any reason for why Sho may have made such a re report regarding them? I do not. I understood. Then that is all. Commander. I am merely respecting your, their wishes, Yule. Hmm. At the coffee shop. You know, I was surprised to see you guys in town. What are you guys doing in Mayama? I got Commander Shima to grant us some more shore leave so we can make some new memories. Memories, huh? Oh, you mean because of losing them with entanglement? That's right. Apparently I've lost quite a few of them over time. Jeez, you chipper. You shouldn't talk like you're about to die or something. That's just depressing. Haha, <laughs> but you see, I am about to die. Are you serious? It's true. And that's why we're here treasuring the time we have now, right, Chris? Right. That's just not right. Oh, boy. Well, at least we got through it. And now everything should be stable with no more real stoppings and stuff. But yeah, um, I'm kind of sad we didn't get much Zegapin units and we only got two. But it makes sense, because then that add more into the gacha. Which might make sense as to why we didn't get Valvrave 4 or 5 yet. Not 4, sorry. We didn't get Valvrave 3 or 5. We we're only getting 6. Yeah, number 6 is the third Valvrave unit. But I guess it makes sense, because then it add more into the gacha, and I don't think they want to deal with that. Whereas with X Omega, you know, with their gacha, you just get it. Oh well. So the next part, goodbye everybody.